as the world becomes increasingly globalized, the demand for accurate translation services has never been higher. Google Translate is one of the most popular translation tools available, and many people are surprised to learn that it's possible to make money from using it. And the best part is, you can do it without any effort, without any experience, and without much time spent. We're going to show you today how you can earn money with Google Translate. In fact, you can earn $23.10 every 15 minutes. You don't need any technical skills or prior experience. Even an absolute beginner can benefit from my unique methods, and I'll show you how. Here's how you can make money from Google Translate. Number one, sign up for a translation platform. The first step to making money from Google Translate is to sign up for a translation platform. Websites like Translators Cafe, Gengo, and Unbabble allow you to create a profile and start accepting translation jobs from clients. By signing up for a translation platform, you'll gain access to a large pool of potential clients who are looking for translators to complete their projects. The sign-up process for a translation platform will vary depending on the platform you choose. However, most platforms will require you to create a profile that includes your language skills, experience, and pricing information. You'll also need to provide proof of your language skills, such as a certification or previous translation work. Number two, choose the right jobs. Once you've signed up for the translation platform, you'll need to choose the right jobs to make money with Google Translate. Look for jobs that require translation from a language you're fluent in to a language you're comfortable translating into using Google Translate. You'll need to have a strong understanding of both languages to ensure that your translations are accurate and convey the intended meaning. When choosing jobs as a translator, it's important to consider your expertise in different areas. For example, if you're fluent in multiple languages but have a background on legal translation, it makes sense to focus on jobs that require legal translation rather than medical translation. By focusing on areas where you have expertise, you'll be more likely to produce accurate and high-quality translations. Translating can be a fulfilling and rewarding job, but it's important to choose projects that interest you. Look for projects that align with your personal interests or that you find intellectually stimulating. Not only will this make the job more enjoyable, but it can also help you produce better translations. Number three, use Google Translate effectively. While Google Translate can be a helpful tool for translation, it's important to use it effectively to produce accurate translations. Make sure to carefully review the translated text and compare it to the original to ensure that the meaning hasn't been lost in translation. Additionally, be aware of any cultural or contextual nuances that may be lost when using Google Translate. While Google Translate is a useful tool, it's important to understand its limitations. Google Translate can provide a general understanding of a text, but it's not perfect and may not always produce accurate translations. It's also not ideal for translating entire documents or complex sentences. Keep in mind that Google Translate is only a tool and should not replace a professional translator for important documents or communication. When using Google Translate, it's important to use simple and clear language. Avoid using complex or technical language that may not translate well. Use short sentences and avoid using idioms or slang that may not translate accurately. The more clear and concise your language is, the more accurate the translation will be. Number four, set competitive prices. To be successful as a translator, you'll need to set competitive prices for your services. Research what other translators are charging for similar work and consider your own experience and expertise when setting your rates. By offering competitive rates, you'll be more likely to attract clients and receive repeat business. The first step to setting competitive prices is to research industry standards. Look at what other freelance translators are charging for similar services and consider the level of expertise and experience required for each project. This will give you a baseline for pricing your services and help you determine what is considered competitive. When setting your prices, it's important to consider your expertise and experience. If you have a background in a specialized field, you may be able to charge higher rates for jobs in that area. Likewise, if you're new to the industry, you may need to charge lower rates to build your reputation and attract clients. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Do also check out our other videos on making easy money online. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.